had several people asking me exactly how I do these frozen uh, soap bubbles. Uh, and even with what I've put out there, they said they've struggled with it and it's not working for them. So I'm gonna try to go through the whole process. Um, this is just how I do it and what works for me. Uh, there's lots of ways to do it. You can get on YouTube and look at other tutorials, but I'm gonna share with you uh, the way I'm doing it. I don't do it all the time because down here in Northwest Arkansas, a lot of times we don't get uh, the cold temperatures we need. Uh, really a below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you can probably pull it off, ideally closer to zero and in the single digits. Uh, I had nine degrees earlier this morning when I did it, but uh, it's up to about 12 now, so we're gonna try to do it and show you what I do. Uh, it may not work quite as good, but at least you can figure out. Uh, first off, you need to have the soap bubble formula and just, uh, Sometimes in the uh, winter months, it's hard to find soap bubbles around. So we'll buy them in the summer, buy a big uh, container like this, and uh, we'll use those as well. But we have to augment them a little for the frozen soap bubble to get the best pictures of them. If you can't find soap bubbles, you can start off with a cup of water and four tablespoons of uh, Dawn. I was watching one of the tutorials. They felt like Dawn was the best uh, um, soap to use in it. I've used ivory before and it seems to work for me. I don't know that there's really that much difference. You can get a lot of different opinions out there, but if you can't find soap bubbles, I do have the soap bubbles. And so what I start off with here is a cup in uh, and we'll start off with a cup. This really is probably too big of a container but right there one cup of uh, this happens to be uh, super miracle bubbles that we get at one of the big uh, super centers around here now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also add some sugar and some glycerin to it the sugar will help in the crystallization process of it uh, the glycerin is gonna make them a little stronger uh, and so that's what we're gonna do with it. If you don't have glycerin, you can use Cairo syrup. That's what I've used in the past is Cairo. Uh, but uh, some people I read that I think no more than I do say that the glycerin is a, a little better for it. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna uh, use. But if you can't find glycerin, you can find this again at your box stores, uh, the glycerin. But uh, if you got some white uh, corn syrup, uh, that will work as well. So what I'm gonna do right now to get the sugar to melt into to the formula as well is I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave. All right, we're gonna set this in the microwave and I'm gonna do it on about one minute. Obviously microwaves vary, but uh, just get it pretty warm so that the sugar will melt in there. If you're a southerner, about like you want to do uh, some sweet tea. Uh, just mixing sugar in tea is not the same is it uh, being hot and mixing it in. So similar situation here. All right, we've got this heated up and then we're gonna, in this particular case, I looked for a different uh, formula and so I'm trying something a little different today than the last one I've used. Uh, with this one, it's gonna be one cup of the soap mixture and uh, then two tablespoons of sugar and, uh, and then three tablespoons of glycerin. Somebody would probably disagree with me on this, but I don't think your measurements have to be perfect. And uh, <laughs> Kathy's going to get on to me for making a mess on her table here as she's laughing at me already. We're going to stir all this up. We're going to mix all this together real good. And then I'm going to put it in this little container. This is an old Gatorade bottle. I mark on it what my formula was because I'm always trying something different. And then what works best if you'll take this and put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. It'll allow the uh, bubbles to freeze faster if the formula 
the water, the bubble solution is already cold. Now you don't want it frozen, don't set it outside and let it freeze, but uh, put it in the refrigerator, let it uh, chill pretty good, and uh, that's what we'll be using here. I find it best to set the camera outside. I put it in a gallon baggie to keep any moisture in case the snowfall is falling or anything, but to get it acclimated to the cold before I go outside to shoot the frozen soap bubbles. And because of the wind today, I'm trying to use my storage shed. I pulled my lawnmower and stuff out, having this door the, to the left here is the north wind and trying to block it a little, be inside as much light as I can. Now, yes, I have the luxury of having an additional light source I'm gonna use here, but you might can come up with something else or be light enough. But whatever you can do uh, to block the wind, because uh, that'll definitely cause you problems. All right, on my camera here, yes, I've got a Nikon D850, which is a good quality camera. I'm also using a macro lens that allows me to get a lot closer to it, but you don't have to have all of that to still get a quality picture. So, you know, let's see different ways to blow bubbles, but this is my technique. Yes, yeah, using the straw. And I try not to make the bubble too big because if I do, it's more apt to be impacted by the wind. And then as you can tell, it'll take a few minutes because I think we're at 12 or 13 degrees now. And so uh, it takes a little longer for it to start to freeze. Try not to get too close and breathe on it or anything. And I'm looking, it's best if you have something dark behind it, as well as good lighting for the contrast and see, not gonna make it. We got just enough breeze and that happens a lot. So we go again. And that one didn't stay up there. Okay, that one's falling <laughs> off. We'll see if we get lucky there. I assure you, with me, we have a lot more that don't make it than do. So you just keep trying. We sure can't stand up more and block the wind. You can see that there's crystals starting to form. You can also tell I use a little shot glass and put a little snow on top of it if you got it. And uh -huh. it needs to be outside too. Yep. You need to set all this outside before you're ready to let it get cold. We would definitely be finished if this was four or five degrees colder. And if you get down to about zero, you got about a minute or so to take your pictures. Now it's possible also, I don't know what the temperature in here is in the shed, it may be a little warmer.
All right, so uh, that bubble didn't make it to completion, but uh, it gives you the idea of what we're doing. You saw uh, one of them, I'll post a picture of one I did a little earlier this morning, but I've got to get ready to uh, travel on to uh, Oklahoma for Winter Storm Uri. Uh, but that'll give you a little taste. Get out and have fun and play with it. Yeah, this wind uh, is gonna be a challenge with this one. If you can figure out a way to block that wind and. We're definitely gonna have the temperatures where you can do it over the next few days. So whether it's snowflakes or soap bubbles, uh, yeah, this uh, cold is gonna be brutal, but there's still ways to find a way to make them pretty. So hope you enjoy and get it in the out there. That's a little hard to say, get in the out there. And if you get some pictures, tag get in the out there for us. This is a picture of Snow bubble I took a couple hours before I did this recording. I uh, just didn't have time to get one uh, with the warmer temperatures and the wind, but this was uh, just a couple hours earlier uh, that I took this one. Um, it's a bit of a challenge to find a place that's cold enough, but uh, not having the wind. Uh, at the end of this, I'm going to also include a video I did of one showing you a uh, frozen bubble in process uh, did that a couple of years ago when we had cold weather in the area so I hope you enjoy this hope it's helpful for you uh, feel free to message me if uh, you have any questions uh, as most of you know I'm on the road all the time and very busy so if I don't get right back with you that's what's going on but I'll do it as quick as I can thanks and y'all have a wonderful day